Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at the best animated Man of Steel films. We're excluding live action and focusing on movies where Superman's name is in the title. Watch out as we're going up, up, and away into spoiler territory. It's not a perfect world, but we can't just throw morality in the garbage. Number 10, Superman, The Last Son of Krypton. I ripped the camper apart like it was cardboard, and the fire never touched me. I've always felt I was different, even before you and Pa told me I was adopted, but how was it possible I could do these things? The three-part premiere of DCAU's Superman the Animated Series also serves as an origin movie. Here, we watch decades go by. We see the sad destruction of Krypton, the joyous childhood days of Clark Kent, and his triumphant turn as the Man of Steel. The last son of Krypton sets the protagonist up for his role as Earth's protector. He's strong, he flies, he's the Nietzschean fantasy ideal all wrapped up in a red cape. The Superman. Superman? It also brings viewers up to speed on his greatest foes, Lex Luthor and Brainiac. It goes for a hopeful tone to inspire young viewers that pairs well with Clark's determination to take on the mantle of Superman. The downside is that the heavy elements of his backstory are dialed back. But the movie still does hype fans up for Superman's many adventures in the DCAU. All I ask is that you tell the truth about me. And that is? I'm not here to scare anyone. In fact, I've always tried to help people whenever possible. Number 9. Superman, Batman, Public Enemies Captain Adam, I want to thank you. I have a federal warrant for your arrest, Superman. So much for the cavalry. Electing a supervillain as president is a recipe for disaster. This team-up film shows us why when Lex Luthor becomes the commander-in-chief. Once in office, the villain uses his power to frame Superman for a crime he didn't commit. Now, public enemy number one, the man of still has to fight off Luthor's cronies and the heroes working for him. I suppose it's useless to tell you to leave. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Your funeral. I already had one. With Batman as Superman's only trusted ally, the two team up to clear their names and expose Luthor's villainy. Public Enemies keeps the tension tight from start to finish. It's also full of great fight scenes between heroes and villains alike. While Batman shares top billing, the movie highlights how Superman sticks to his core values even when the world's against him. And I am the president. <laughs> Consider yourself. <laughs> Impeached. Number 8. Superman Batman Apocalypse. All these years of pretending to be human have made you soft. Kara, he's controlling you. Fight it! The follow up to Public Enemy goes for a more ambitious tale by putting the heroes in the center of an interstellar adventure. After Supergirl arrives on Earth, Superman watches as everyone from the Amazonians to Darkseid's forces try to utilize his cousin's powers. The film is a great watch for hardcore fans that want to see classic locations like the Mascara and Apocalypse. Additionally, the dynamic between the Man of Steel and Supergirl is really rich. Superman shows a mature side of himself while trying to keep his cousin safe. His control over you is total. I see that now. Which is why I have to do this. <laughs> the mistakes he make along the way show how human he can be. While the story focuses heavily on Supergirl, fans get to see plenty of action from Batman, Wonder Woman, and of course, Superman himself. Don't ever come here again. Number seven, Reign of the Supermen. Well, I can't tell you how glad I am to see you again. There's a lot you need to know. These broadcasts have brought me up to speed. Darkseid killed my friends. Ironically, the Blue Boy Scout is absent for most of this movie. The film instead centers on four powerful beings who try to take the Kryptonian's place after he is presumed dead. Since each one has a different approach of heroism, the film wonderfully unpacks what it means to be Superman. I can't protect the people if they think I'm a fake, Lois. Even if you won't believe I'm Superman, at least believe that I'm trying to do some good. It also highlights criminally underrated characters like Steel and the Eradicator. And when Kal-El steps back into the spotlight, his return feels absolutely glorious. Reign of the Superman keeps us fully entertained with big clashes and a plot with surprising twists and turns. It's a film that certainly showcases why the world needs the original Superman. Clark Kent, feared lost in the Doomsday fight, is back home tonight. Thanks to the keen eye of another Metropolis citizen we thought we'd lost. 
Number six, Superman Red Sun. Until I was 12 years old, Miss Lane, I was as human as you are. This planet is the only home I've ever known, and I would sacrifice anything to protect her. In this Elseworld story, Kal-El's rocket lands in the Soviet Union around the time of World War II. With a drastically different upbringing, the Soviet Superman's aggressive morality scares other world leaders. The U.S. in particular relies on Lex Luthor's brains to defy this brutal man of steel. Superman Red Sun also puts different and intriguing spins on established characters like Batman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern. But the inventive reimagining of Man of Steel steals the show. No. If I'd wanted to, I could have attacked and brought America to its knees years ago. But I want to achieve my goals by winning the argument, not beating my opponents into submission. Rather than solely depicting Superman as evil, Red Sun gives us a complex superpower being who simply embraced the values he was raised with. As the movie progresses, he constantly questions who he is and who he should ultimately be in this new world. This is humanity's world, and they have to be free to make their own mistakes, chart their own course. Number five, All-Star Superman. Your trip to the sun overexposed your cells to solar radiation, more than even your body can metabolize. I see it. The primary theme of Superman's stories is to carry hope for a better future. But what if there's no future for the Man of Steel? All-Star Superman finds the hero in his last days after overexposure to the sun. Instead of looking for ways to survive, the protagonist decides to spend his time appreciating the ones he loves. There's also the usual conflict with Lex Luthor for him to contend with, but the film leaves room for even this villain to get a chance at redemption. All the things you said you would have done to benefit humanity if I hadn't been in your way, now's the time to prove it. Lex, I know there's good in you. It's a heartfelt story that gives fans time to say goodbye to this version of the character. Superman eases everyone around him as he approaches his impending demise. I'm running out of time. I have few regrets. My life has been a wonder. Number four, Superman, Man of Tomorrow. Well, maybe we shouldn't have told him. <laughs> he lifted a tractor with one finger, Martha. He was gonna figure it out. The first entry in the Tomorrowverse has another origin story for the last son of Krypton, an unlikely combination of villains and allies set up this adventure. Fan favorites like Lobo, John Jones, and Parasite stand out as fun new additions. Since he's fresh into his superhero days, there are quite a few surprises in store for the inexperienced Superman. I am no bounty hunter. My name is John, and I only wish to speak with you. This gives the character a true sense of vulnerability that isn't seen too often in his stories. The relatively low-key nature of the film is a nice change of pace from other Man of Steel tales. With action, humor, and good voice acting, there's a bit of everything for fans to enjoy. Superman? You're right about my origins, Lois. But not my intentions. Please don't run your story. I should be the one to tell the world. Number three, the Batman Superman movie, World Finest. Bruce Wayne. You peaked. I won't have vigilantism in my town. You'll be rid of me as soon as I find the Joker. This three-parter from Superman the Animated Series was released on home media as DCAU's first crossover film. At the time, watching Batman and Superman together was mind-blowing for viewers. And honestly, the feeling still holds up. It's hard to go wrong with a Batman-Superman team-up where they face off against Lex Luthor, Harley Quinn, and the Joker. The clashing styles and belief systems on both the good and evil sides make for intriguing and layered scenes. I figured you might want to help me bring Luthor in. A partnership? You're joking. Actually, I'm having trouble finding Luthor, and I thought you might have some ideas. I might. Despite the differences between heroes, World's Finest shows why Batman and Superman are a winning combo. Their rivalry ultimately brings the best out of each other. It also serves as a springboard for their eventual bromance in the DCAU's Justice League series. Come to make sure I'm leaving? Actually, I thought we worked pretty well together. Not that I want to make it a regular event. Number two, Superman versus the Elite. This isn't a joke. You can't murder people and call yourselves heroes. Why not? Your government does it all the time. 
This entry exemplifies how Superman can be the stuff of nightmares. The conflict begins when a group known as the Elite start doing the Man of Steel's job for him. However, this isn't just about a matter of who the best heroes are. The two sides engage in a compelling moral debate about the merits between lethal and non-lethal force. Eventually, the Elite seem to encourage Superman to embrace bloody vigilante justice. The world needs people in charge who are willing to put the animals down. Nowadays, the notion of dark or evil Superman seems to be quite commonplace. But back when it was a little less common, Elite gave us an excellent and complex peek at how he could fall from grace. Suffice it to say, we're glad Superman stays on the right side of the law. Luckily, I'm not you, and I never will be. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the death of Superman. Wait, take him down, Clark. Don't hold back or he'll kill everyone. The death of Superman is one of the most popular stories featuring the titular protagonist. However, the movie doesn't just coast on the title's premise. This animated adaptation dives further into Superman's struggle to balance his life as a hero with his Clark Kent persona. Even though he has a godlike battle with the villainous Doomsday, his humanity matters most. I've got you. You've got me. But who's got you? Speaking of, the fight sequences complement both characters with breathtaking views of their incredible powers. But Death of Superman's emotional beats hit even harder than any of Doomsday's punches. With themes of love and sacrifice blended with pulsating action, this movie sets a gold standard for how a Superman story should play out on screen. You saved everyone. Good. It's all. I ever wanted. Which Superman movie do you think does the Man of Steel justice? Let us know in the comments down below. How does it feel to be deconstructed? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.